Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mike, and welcome to the career mode walkthrough of EA UFC. This is um, the start of the career mode. I just literally started it right now, and this guy sent me a message. Mike Dolce, he's a former fighter, I believe. I've got a bit of knowledge in UFC, I watch it quite a bit, so I knew, do know who these guys are. My guy's Mike Dolce, he um, is a nutritionist, I think, in, um, for fighters in the UFC, and he's also a coach. So he sent me this message saying they're doing some scouting for the next season of the Ultimate Fighter, the reality show. We're going to go start some basic stand-up techniques, start off. Just follow the instructions and do your best. Okay, so this is like a tutorial for the career mode, it looks like. In MMA, all fights start standing up. When you first engage your opponent, you are in a striking range. If you have not mastered this range, you will be in trouble from the immediate opening of that bell. If you understand all the angles, how to get in with your shots and not get hit back, then you're going to be in control. So it's very important that you know what to do when you're faced off with your opponent standing up. All right, we're working on the bag now, straight shots only. I want you to keep up that pace non-stop until the buzzer. Um, I use game face for this game as well, so that's my, my face. It, I'm a bit pale, I couldn't figure out how to change the skin tone apart from like my actual skin colour, which isn't this pale in real life, so... <laughs> Alright, let's continue. So we're just doing button commands, just to get understanding of um, striking. Great job in there! I'm probably going to go for a all-round mixed martial artist game style, not just like focus on stand-up or ground. Kind, kind of get an overall um, skill set. I played the demo quite a bit before this game came out, so I've got a good understanding of the controls and how to actually achieve things in the in the cage. I got a black belt. What? It's the easiest black belt ever, ain't it? Ever. <laughs> Leg kicks. The more leg kicks, the slower this guy is gonna get. Okay, so leg kicks. Very nice. Keep chopping is my attributes trick. affected by my performance in these mini games? I wonder. Because I'm expecting there will be training in between fights to um, increase your skill set. Nice I have no kicks. idea what they're gonna be though. I've pl played all the other Uf UFC games. E um, UFC Undisputed, the whole series, and um, also EA MMA. And normally in career mode, you're doing pretty much what I'm doing here to increase your stats. Throw that front side leg kick off your cross. Excellent job. That's the way we train. You want to win a world Another title. black belt. Remember this <laughs> One of the keys to victory is blocking. Okay, blocking. Blocking comes strikes to end points. Hold the R2 to weak, weak block. All R2 and press square. It's a strong block. It's like a parry, though, isn't it? I like what I'm seeing out of you. Great defense. Let's get it. Let's work. How many points do I need to get? Am I getting points for this? Yeah, I am. Fifty points. Nice job. Way to block that. My God, my face looks so derpy. I swear, guys, I don't look this bad in real life. Keep that up. Keep that pace. Maybe it's because he's got a gum shield in. <laughs> Ten seconds left. Also, the hairstyles in the game face creator are pretty bad. This is the best one I could find, and it's still pretty bad. <laughs> I got a strike as well. No, ow. Excellent work defending yourself. He was trying to take your head off. Yay, black belts. Nice work, man. Okay. Now we're going to step in the octagon for a quick round of stand-up sparring, put it all together, movement, offense, defense. So this is just a sparring session now, I can do what I want. Alright, here we go. Let's get busy. Use your feet. What's with like the, the ghosting on the bloody torsos? And the fighters themselves, it's just not this bad normally when you're fighting, just doing a big fight. Oh, I've got, why have I got that leg kick? I hate thingy 
like Anderson Stewart style like kicks like that. It just looks silly. There's no power in it, it looks like. Okay, am I going for a knockout here or This is the, the flow doesn't look not, look right as well, I don't think. And those kicks. That leg kick. I mean I want to like generally throw a lot of like kicks in fights, fighting games, just to you know, figure out my distance and um just keep doing damage and slow my opponent down. I like to finish off, like, start each combination mainly with a jab straight and then finish off with like a body kick or a head kick. It's just a comfortable feeling I've got when I'm playing games like this. So what's my move set then? I haven't picked a style or anything. So I don't know if because normally in games like this, you pick a style to start with, so like a base, like your bases have a wrestling or jujitsu or a striking style. I don't look as pale as I thought I did, because when I actually made the the character on the EA website, God, he was so pale, like a milk bottle. You shouting at me? Is that Mike Dolce? I didn't. I don't think my Dolce is a coach, is he? I thought he was just a nutritionist, because people always talk about how they can, you know, put so much weight on after f the weigh-ins with my Dolce. Where's the headgear as well? We're training, aren't we? Fight statistics. No. Let's just return to the gym, even though we're already in the gym. Be water, my friend. Bruce Lee. I think it's silly how they've added Bruce Lee to the game. It's just to bring in the audience of people that don't actually know the sports of MMA. I think that's what it's all about. Oh, so we're doing clinch work next. Yep. Okay, so there's a bunch of training stuff, like just to bring you into the game. Saying in combat, the person that controls the clinch controls the fight. I suppose a lot of people complain with these games that the learning curve is too steep. So they're trying to really push the learning and teaching you everything you can before you actually start a fight. The backbone of the sport that happens happens naturally, happens organically. If you're great from the clinch and you can take somebody down, then that's where you've decided to take the fight. If you're great in the clinch and you don't want to be taken down, then that's where you decide the fight. You control everything. The clinch really is one of the most important things that you can do in combat. I'm not usually a fan of the cl clinch. Oh. I want you to focus on transitions. Let's get in there. Okay, so we're gonna do transitions in the clinch first. So let's just do some transit. Oh, that was too quick. Oh, you turned it back. I didn't realize that. I can't do any more. I did the first one too quick. There we go. You own this position. The first one wasn't registered, so yeah, I had to start from the start again. Nice position right there. These are, I think these are Muay Thai clinches now. Yeah, then you can move back to under, um, on the hooks. Okay. Let me guess, black belt? Yeah. Today we're going to drill the Thai clinch, a position made famous by Anderson Silva. We want to use the same clean technique Anderson did Oop. to make it look flawless to beat up his opponent. There we go. Off balance. Knee. Perfect. Good work in there. Oop. Wrong button. How many... This guy... He's brave, this guy volunteering, isn't he, for all these knees to the face. <laughs> you know, not even asked for any um, pardon or anything. Yeah, go ahead, just put your bones in my chin. Uh, what are we doing next? Focus on fighting in the clinch, work, more transitions, blah de blah. It's just telling me stuff that kind of like too basic, you know. I think in this game as well, you actually start your career in the Ultimate Fighter TV show. What are we doing? Oh, so we're doing a clinch spa session. Still for strikes. I can't actually throw strikes out of the clinch though. I don't think I could. I tried to and it didn't let me. So let's take us back. Let's 
strikes have we got? So we got. Oop. That's a block, aren't you? He's time to Three oh, I'm getting this bad. <laughs> I don't even think you get score for this. This is just literally. Try it out for yourself. We can do anything for ten seconds. Work the ribs. Love that striking. All right, so it's ground. Hey, I'm training next. Hopefully, this is the last bit. You know, before you actually start this game, you're forced to do a tutorial. So they're just doing the same thing again on the career mode. Ground and submission is very important in mixed martial arts. Oh man, that's tight. In combat, your primary goal is to break your opponent. Be it a joint lock, be it a ground and pound position where they don't want to fight anymore, then you win. Really, it's about isolating the limb so I can get my whole body wrapped around your arm. Odds are my entire body is stronger than just your arm alone. If I can get my whole body wrapped around your neck, I'm going to win again. You put enough pain in their brain where they want out. Today, let's focus on takedowns. How many do you think you can get? All right. So we're going for takedowns. A lot of the transitional stuff is all like quarter turns on the right stick. And to do takedowns, you're literally holding L2 and doing a quarter turn towards your opponent's all away. And you do different styles of takedowns like this one. That's a different style. It's a double leg instead of a single. Okay, so this guy's gonna try and submit me, and I've got to escape. So to escape, you you just push the um, stick nice job to outwards to one side, I and if you your opponent top. pushes the same way as you, you don't go out anymore. So you have to move to another side and keep. It's like cat and mouse. He's just chasing you down. So now I'm going to put a submission on him now. See, and if I see him move, I have to follow up the right stick. And also, to upgrade your, your submission transition deeper into it you follow those left stick in um, you know pointers see so yeah, to the left there push to the left stick to the left and then he's not as oh, I missed that one okay he's not even in the submission properly like his, look at his head it's like bugged out oh <laughs> poor guy Job finishing that submission. Wow, you look amazing in there. Let's keep that going as you move forward in your career. Okay, so one more sparring round. Hopefully the last one before we actually head into the Ultimate Fighter. I'm wondering if it's gonna be like a, um, a series of like a tour the tournament style in the game, if you're gonna have to play through the first, second, third, and final rounds, whatever it's gonna be. Probably will be. Alright, so Doing ground fighting here. Can we do um Yeah we can. can do strikes. Let's mount him. Let's see if we can knock him out. No, get up here, mate. Don't you think you can get away? Oh, give me back, will ya? Let's submit, let's choke him out. Oh no, he's moving my leg. I can't seem to um initiate submissions. To block transitions as well, you have to hold the R2 button and um, move the right stick in a direction that they're trying to, you know, move to. It takes a while to get a good understanding of it. See, I missed that one. I should have pressed to the left because that's where he was going, but I actually pressed right. So he's got my left foot there. Oh, I missed it. You got to be pretty quick on him as well, and also probably if you're striking, it's harder to achieve it. The defense of it. He's got me there. And it's also hard to do this while I'm talking. <laughs> Defend, that choke. Defend the choke. He's punching me in the head. Gotta get out. Okay, so he's going for a submission on me. I have to try and push outwards. When I, when mine stops, that means he's on that on me, so I have to move away. Up. 
on the little mini game. You can also stand up from any position really, apart from. I think if you got your full back, you can't try and stand up. You have to transition out of that first. Yeah, I've got, sp I've got quite a few like advanced techniques, even though like I haven't actually picked a style or anything. I can't block as well. <laughs> I think my style is probably going to be more like I'll be um, focusing on stand up and only go to the ground if I'm either hurt or my opponents just beat me on the feet. But I try and spend most of my time on the feet, as it's probably more entertaining to watch as well. Hey kid, congratulations! You've been chosen to fight in the elimination fights on the Ultimate Fighter. I look forward to seeing you in action. The Ultimate Fighter is the toughest tournament in all the sports. You've got to be a well-rounded mixed martial arts. You've got to have the mental, physical, and emotional toughness to get through this competition, get into the UFC, and hopefully someday be a world champion. Is that how easy it is to get into the Ultimate Fighter? Just do a bit of training in your Come local on, gym guys. and get invited. Tomorrow the elimination fights. You know how hard it was for you to get here. Give it everything you've got. Leave everything inside that octagon. You do not want to be the guy riding home on the bus tomorrow. Good luck, gentlemen. <laughs> you probably made it look like the TV show. Oh, that's all they're showing, okay. Oh, my God, I thought you said I was fighting George St. Pierre then. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's Team St. Pierre. <laughs> Which team am I on? Do I get to pick? Like, they normally pick me, don't they? Is that it? my only option there to advance to the elimination match? X. Yep. I suppose it's probably... Didn't give me a chance to train, did it? The elimination match is normally the how the fighter get into the house, so there's no training in the in the in the show before that anyway. Literally show up, and if you win, you get to stay. Oh, they got the full like gym set up and everything. And this guy is my opponent, I guess, because that's not me. <laughs> He's got like game um, Dracula eyebrows. Oh, I am. <laughs> I couldn't afford a t-shirt. Both the same age. He's two inches taller. I put my own actual stats into the, into the game. My age and height. And also, my weight class I picked was like something that I'd think if I was to be fighting. That's what I'd be. The judges declare a draw. We go to sudden victory. The winner of that round wins the fight. Good luck. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready to fight? Come on, let's fight. Hey, let's soften up a few jobs and body shots. Why have I got that leg kick? I hate that leg kick. This guy looks massive compared to me. I look so skinny like a little kid. Got no power as well. At all, like the guy's head damage is not even taking a little nick. I suppose as well we are. I'm playing as lightweight. I think it's lightweight. Quite sure it is. Oh, oh. <laughs> sweep them with the leg kick. Let's take him down. No, I think I might just go for a submission because I don't think I'm going to knock him out with the power I've got at the moment. Come on, get on the floor. Okay. It's a mountain. Why not got any submissions here? I can't attempt a submission. I don't think I've got any submissions I can actually do. 
I'm attempting to submit, but it's not working. There we go. I've got a Kimura. Maybe you only have like limited submissions you can attempt from certain positions. When you start off, you have to learn them. So you can't even do like a submission from every position. You want a quick finish, impress the judges, well, impress Dana White, more so. And also the coaches. Oh! Come on, almost there. We got him. Nice. He tapped. Also, minimal damage by submitting, isn't it? You know, you're not trading a lot of. Oh my, I'll just try Asians on my face. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can hear Dana talking. The winner by submission moving into the house. Yeah. Alright, that's the fight to move into the house. I'm quite when I made the character I made him like separate to the career mode just to get it right before I actually started the career. And I'm sure my nickname was the Mountain. In honor of Game of Thrones, you know, the mountain character. So that's the only reason why I picked the nickname, because like, all the other nicknames were silly stuff like Black Mamba and, you know, El Diablo, stuff that didn't really appeal. So, fight results, what's this? Is this. A, that's just my results saying that I won. Let's go back to the gym. guys congratulations the winner of this season wins a six-figure contract with the UFC I'm very excited about the season now it's time to pick teams gentlemen welcome to the ultimate fighter okay so let's go to the team selection actually wait there now before we do that I'm gonna end this part here and we'll start off the next part with the AMC in which team won it's either Robbie Lawless team or George St. Pierre Alright guys, um, thanks for watching this first, first part of um, the UFC career mode. I'm hoping to either complete the career mode to retirement or at least in the championship belt in at least one division. I don't know if you can change divisions, I'm just guessing that you can, because quite often you can do that in these type of games, like Fight Night you could, other UFC games you could. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Alright, see ya!